Hey, I'm Elise Bowman. I'm the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT, and today I am with Kellen Goff. Hi, I'm uh, Kellen Goff. I voice uh, Overhaul in My Hero Academia, and I'm also the uh, voice actor of Funtime Freddy in uh, the Five Nights at Freddy series. Yes, and I'm glad I... glad to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm so <laughs> glad you're here. Thank you for having me. We're going to have a fun time today. Oh, I get it. Huh? Because Funtime Freddy. Oh, yep. I did you... I'm <laughs> <laughs> fun. <laughs> Clever. Hey, yes. This is Anime Adventures. This is a show where I bring you conversations with anime folks, especially while I'm at conventions, which is where we are right now. My Hero Con. Yay. So stay tuned, and our conversation's coming right up. My Hero Con, it's been a great weekend. Love the, the dud. Thank you. That a word? Uh, yeah, duds is a word. Yeah. Digs, kicks. Digs, kicks. Something well, like no, that. digs is a place. Uh, okay. Dig. <laughs> Thank you. I I uh, I will represent the school even though my character doesn't go there because it's a it's a cool design. It's okay. It's still a cool design. It's fun. So let's talk about overhaul. Okay. It's a great. And we can't reveal anything, of course. Of course. Like no storylines or anything. That would be spoiler. That would be a spoiler, and we just don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> Although he is all recorded in all the episodes of him are out. So. Yes, yes, but people just may not be sure, caught absolutely. up. Yeah. yeah. So, have you had so much fun being the villain? It's always a blast to be the villain because, okay. uh, you know, in normal life you have to be so nice, and then yes, now we do. can be nasty. <laughs> no, but Get paid to be nasty. <laughs> but um, but yeah, no, it, it's been a lot of fun. I was a little self-conscious at first because I this is my first. Uh, big role in an anime oh. series and I wasn't sure how people would take just my voice you know we didn't really put anything else on it except it's just me but mm, a bit edgier uh -huh. a bit more confident um, let's hear oh yeah a goal without a plan is just a wish yeah spooky but yeah, no, he, uh, he, he's he been a lot of fun to play and I'm going to miss him a lot. Yeah, that's so great. Yeah. And what about like My Hero? It connects with so many people. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? Well, I, I feel like, you know, it came at a great time because mm -hmm. right now is the superhero boom. Uh, Marvel movies yeah. and DC TV shows and comics resurgence. It, couldn't have come at a better time and the story is so fantastic uh, all the characters are super relatable and it's fun to watch them get into antics and everything and I feel like you know at the, every person can relate to at least one of the characters in there I feel like that's the big part of it but then also you know you got your standard anime stuff the your your fan servicey kind of things so yeah it, it and the action scenes are Mwah. Really Mwah. well, so really true. well animated. So, so I think it's just an amazing mixing pot of uh, all the things that makes an action show work. Yeah. And, yeah, and the humor too. <laughs> it's, all, it's always it, really funny. It yeah. does. It has a little bit of everything. It does. Yeah. Now, do you have a hero in your own life? I Who do. Who is your hero? Um, my hero as is and will always be my dad mm. because uh, throughout this voice acting journey me um, you know going through uh, I used to want to be an animator but then I decided I wanted to be an actor after uh, finding out that I liked doing the acting for the animation a bit more oh, um, really? and you know I was already in theater and stuff he was so supportive every step of the way especially because uh, we him and I both have autism high-functioning Asperger's oh, okay. um, and it's a, it can be a bit harder for someone who you know doesn't really uh, see the world the same way to act in the conventional sense. So I sort of had to figure out my own way to act. Um, but it it's not unheard of. It can be a superpower even because uh, um, even though we're wired a different way, what we see we can replicate. Uh, and uh, 
even though we might not understand it, we can still do it, you know, how the original person did it. Oh, interesting. So that's sort of how I figure out how to do these emotions and stuff is by watching people or actors who are going through it and then uh, replicating it until I feel it myself. Because, you know, I can feel these emotions. It just mm -hmm. takes more practice. Okay, well thank you for sharing that because yeah, there have course. been people who commented either on the channel or on my social media mm. that they are on the spectrum or have autism to some degree. Right. And so I think that they will really connect with that, hearing that. So thank you for sharing. Well, yeah, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. I, I feel I like know. it is a superpower and anybody, uh, you, you know, they... <laughs> just because you're wired differently doesn't mean you can't do anything any other person can and better. Right. Well, and that's kind of what's also cool about the show, in a sense. Everybody has something unique about them and right. it can be your superpower. In the beginning, Deku didn't have a superpower, the main character. Right. And then he got that from All Might and he trained until he made it his. So I, I sort of... I liken the two just a little bit. You trained and made it your own. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that. Well, let's talk about some of your other characters because I love all the prints that sure. you have. And you yeah. have so many great characters. Yeah, well, um, Funtime Freddy is the, it was the big one. He was how I first broke into, you know, the voice acting scene that wasn't, uh, oh. wasn't just like online, mm -hmm. you know? Um, that that was uh, back in 20, let's see, I was 21, so it was, oh man, that was four years ago. So, oh, wow. So that was 2016, yeah. You came in and just hit the scene. Yeah. Wow. Know, I, uh, I, w my dad always uh, taught me when you have a good thing, use it. Use it. So I, uh, made friends with with people and I uh, yeah it, that's fantastic it was it, it, it has been a lot of fun that's how uh, my hero happened I was at a convention for um, for Funtime Freddy and uh, Colleen and I were on a panel together Colleen Click and Beard yes um, of course the, the director the director mm -hmm. yeah and uh, we clicked we uh, and and we became fast friends and uh, a year later I got the uh, audition for Overhaul it's yeah. always neat to hear how actors booked their roles. Yeah, the I, I won't go into how I booked him because it's way less exciting. <laughs> um, one of what the newer about? ones, I suppose, uh, Goketsu from One Punch Man. Wow, the, look at yeah, that. Yeah, he's, he's huge, right? Um, I won't go into any spoilers, but uh, don't get used to him. Uh, <laughs> I'll make the whole world into monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how he, he goes. Do you want to pick one? Yes, let's see. Taritska. He is a, a nerd to the highest degree. He's a bit of a perv. Um, <laughs> but he his thing is that he can see the guardian spirits of everybody. He can see dead people. Mm. Yeah. So he, he was a lot of fun. Um, and he talks really fast. It was hard to do. Oh, <laughs> well, gosh, I bet so, because if talking fast and you're matching the flaps, mm -hmm. so that's kind of a challenge, I would imagine. It's something you have to train. It, it's just a different muscle. That's all it is. Yes. Um, and then you were talking before about JoJo, if you want to grab oh, that yes. one. Because I had, uh, I've talked with Tony Oliver, so. The director of the yeah, show, yes, yeah. He's the director of the show. That was a bizarre adventure. Yeah, that was a fun one. So the story behind him is that uh, he's one of the main character's dads, but um, due to you know some problems with uh, with stands in the show and stuff, he uh, he turns into that and they can't turn him back. So they wanted uh, they wanted you know someone who could sound like he has tumors in his throat. So I just came in and went. <laughs> <laughs> and that seemed to work. Yeah, that, that seems to work very well. Thank you. So he was a lot of fun, too. I bet. Yeah, I've gotten to play a wide array, and I'm very, very thankful for everything I do. Wow, it seems like, and it seems like you really love it. I adore it. It's, uh, 
I, I seldom do people know what they want to do this early, but it's just it, ever since I started doing animation, it's been the dream. Really, yeah. living the dream, that is such a blessing. I'm very, I'm elated. I'm, I'm just in, on cloud nine. That's and wonderful I'm, to And hear. I, I certainly encourage uh, people to follow the uh, same path. Just remember that it's about the acting. Anybody can do an impression, but it takes acting to bring a character to life. So true. Yeah. Wow, what a wonderful, positive note to end on. <laughs> so I think we should say bye. And okay. I love it when the actors say bye in their character voice. So pick a character voice. You I, have so many to choose from. I guess when in Rome, huh? Yes, when in Rome. That's a good one. Goodbye, everyone. You're all sick. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I ruin the positive note? No. <laughs> well, maybe, but no. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Yeah. Bye. Thanks bye, for guys. watching. <laughs> bye bye. Was that fun? That was so fun. Oh my God.